When I die, I'll be gone back hour. The hills where I began. Buckham, lad of Blanley Meagle, names for childhood, summers lang gone. Then it's up the bray to Gorgum and the Sparrow Gala Hill, where we'll gaze your Scotland's Eden, wrapped in silent wonder, deep and still. Over on the olden hills, the peewees call the tune as we dance across them triple peaks in the gloamings gathering gloom. South lies regal Ruber's law, Hoik's Hill, proud and true, presiding over the landscape as the Cheviots come into view. Up there on the watershed, above Jed and Carter Bar, the broad bare tops of the Cheviot Hills a tide of rolling waves from afar. Over Kielder to Kershop Foot, where the little water flows. Across Tennis Hill and Taras Moss, where no one now ever seems to go. A hunter's moon shone down on Liddesdale as we took the high road to Moss Paul. Back o'er the hills of Lanham, a month's worth of rain fell in a sudden squall. On to Selkirk's three brethren and the Minchmoor's old drove road. A prehistoric people's highway this, when the glens below were all trees and bog. Kings and armies marched over the minch, in the forests where bears, wolves, wild boar, last time across, east to west, a golden eagle soared. Came down to Cadmere near Peebles, ancient hill forts interest me. King Arthur is said to have fought a battle here, sometime early 6th century AD. On and to the manor hills, heading south to St Mary's Loch. Mysterious Bronze Age treasure was found here, stars for millennia beneath a rock. Skylark sang your tower as we come down Broadwall to Cluck Heat. Sunshine gleaming on the water, first thought, sadness, I haven't to leave. Back up high into the Moffat Hills, Loch Skeen glistening below. Away doom to the valley floor, the grey mare's tail thundered full flow. For White Coon's lonely summit cairn, onto a peak called Carafrangan. Some folks say this is a Gaelic name, in fact it's old Welsh for Fort of the Ravens. Pressing on over Raven Crag and on up Saddle Yoke. Between its tops we stopped a while, and in the views did soak. To the south I could see the Solway, a shiny grey mass at high tide. To the west the peaks of the Galloway Forest, the louder hills and source of the River Clyde. Looking east were the Ettrick Hills, rolling green and wide. Northwest the Devil's Beef Tub, where Tweed and Annan spring for Yin Hill's side. Grand to be standing here. Breathing in the air, struck out across Hartfield Horseshoe, a ridge walk extraordinaire. Up above, a red kite hovered on the breeze, Curlew sang. Deep, deep, dooning Black Hawk Glen, a border's burn ran. 